I'm Uncle Matty. Today I'm going to be talking about my history with He-Man, or as it's known amongst the more nerdy folk today, Motu, which is of course slang for Masters of the Universe. Now, growing up in the 80s, like many young boys of my age, I had a slightly unhealthy obsession with muscular men. This guy, to be precise, He-Man. Here, of course, is his arch nemesis, Skeletor. These are modern figures, they've been made to look more like He-Man was supposed to look in the cartoon. But I'm not sure where they got that idea from, because it kind of just looks weird. And they say adult collector on, which I don't agree with. Here's how it compares to uh, an original figure, Clamp Champ. Anyway, I'm going off topic there. So yeah, growing up, I had a lot of these figures. They were the kind of figures that were played with heavily. Each figure had its own gimmick. You might notice I've got the snake men laid out in front of me here. Tongue Lasher here, with his flickering tongue. Rattlaw, with his strange erectile dysfunction. He wasn't really one of the snake men. Whoa. But he squirted water, Cobra Khan. And then my favorite, King Hiss who was the leader of the Snake Men, who turns completely into a snake. Into a few snakes. These things didn't stand up too great. Their legs are a little elastic bands. So many of the figures do struggle to stand, which is why I've got them on these little bases. Like many young boys in the 80s, I didn't just want to be like He-Man. I wanted to be He-Man. A dream I realised in later life when I turned myself into a He-Man figurine. I made my own moulds and changed up the articulation to my own custom one to stop that the need for those elastic bands anymore. So I actually nicked these leg joints from a Sun Gold He-Man knockoff figure from the 80s. Here's the Mark 1 leg joints. They were from a different kind of Sun Gold knockoff figure. The problem with this version was that the balls would snap off occasionally in the joints despite me trying different types of resin. And also the legs turned at quite a strange angle. So this, uh, this new type of leg articulation, my Mark 2 that I made, is a vast improvement. I can use the original He-Man legs on this Sun Gold waist. Also just like to give a shout out to Cy down at Home Drawn Studios for scanning and printing my bulbous bonds. On my quest to get He-Man parts when making this, I found a seller on eBay selling an entire collection of uh, seemingly very good condition He-Man figures. Seemed like he'd bought them and stored them away and never actually played with them. So I bought a lot, thinking I could salvage parts for use with my own figures. I couldn't help looking at them for ages, reminiscing about the ones that I used to have or the ones that I used to want as a child. And then I came across this guy. An old favourite of mine. A man entirely covered with moss. Moss man. He's someone who's always been an inspiration to me, even as a child. And I couldn't believe the condition of this moss man, which I was lucky enough to get off eBay. Still got all his flocking. Most of the time that's came right off. He still even smelled a bit like pine. Which made me realise what I was missing. I may have made myself into a he-man, or he-mat, as the case may be. But who the heck am I going to play with? It was time to make Moss Mat. It's Moss Mat. Moss Mat. It's Moss Mat. Moss Mat. It's Moss Mat. It's Moss Mat. Using the moulds I'd made previously, I cast myself a new body, this time in a flexible green plastic. Once I'd cast all the parts I needed, I assembled them and then it was time for a jolly good flocking. I used a flocking adhesive and model railway grass to flock myself silly. And here I am. I present to you the heroic spy and master of camouflage, Moss Mat. It's Moss Mat. Moss Mat. It's Moss Mat. Moss Mat. It's Moss Mat. It's Moss Mat. Moss Mat. 
It's Moss Man. Moss Man. Moss Man. It's Moss Man. It's really Moss Man. You might have noticed those makeshift clamshell bubbles I had the figures in earlier. They were okay, but I wanted something better. I picked up a vacuum forming kit off eBay, which consists of a simple A5 wooden frame with which to hold a sheet of PETG plastic, which I would put under the grill and then use the base attached to a vacuum cleaner to suck the plastic around the figure, as you can see I've done here. It worked not bad, but you can see it didn't sit flush with the cardboard, so back to the drawing board. I wanted something more like the legit He-Man figures. You can see I've got this commemorative edition Man at Arms figure. I did not want to damage my commemorative edition Man at Arms figure, so I used a removable mould box with a reusable composite mould moulding material, which I ran out of and topped up with monster clay. Slightly pointless venture in the end, because I actually opened up the Man at Arms figure anyway to have a little play with it, and turns out that the leg articulation on that was the same as the old ones. I was able to reuse the composite mould material and monster clay. The composite mould, however, did pick up a bit of the paper from the box that I made earlier. A little bit unorthodox, but it worked not bad to make one copy of the shape I needed with which to vacuum form over. You can see it worked a lot better with my new vacuum forming He-Man bubble shape. All that remained to do now was to make myself a backing card. And here we are, a childhood dream come to fruition. Moss Mat is complete. A beautiful specimen. I think anyone would agree the resemblance is uncanny. It's Moss Mat, Moss Mat, it's Moss Mat, Moss Mat, it's Moss Mat, it's Moss Mat, Moss Mat, it's Moss Mat, Moss Mat. Throw that in a pile of moss, you'll barely be able to see me. I'm the master of camouflage. Moss mat. You know, now I've got someone to play with, with he mat, or me man, as I also call him. See, I've done this battle damaged me man. Used those Posca paint pens to do my own logo on this one. But you can see when I've added a Rust Oleum clear coat, it's caused it all to crack, which is a bit of a shame. But Moss Matt, that's where it's at. You know, it's Moss Matt, Moss Matt. Moss Matt, it's Moss Matt, Moss Matt, it's Moss Matt, it's Moss Matt, Moss Matt, it's Moss Matt. If you've enjoyed today's video, give it a mossy old thumbs up from me, the Moss Man. Thanks to everyone who's been subscribing to Matty Vision. I'm now up to a thousand subscribers, so thanks for that. And if you haven't subscribed already, go press that subscribe button. There'll be plenty more great, top quality content videos like this one. Alright guys, from me, Uncle Matty, aka Moss Matt, I'll see you next time on Craft Corner or on Matty Vision, or on whatever I call it next week. All that remains for me to do now is box these up and put them into storage, away with the other ones, where they'll never be seen or played with ever again. That's the collector's way here on Matty Vision. Good night. Moss Mat, Moss Mat, it's Moss Mat, Moss Mat, it's Moss Mat.
Moss Man, Moss Man, it's Moss Man, Moss Man, it's Moss Man.